Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Let's Build series in Minecraft. Now today I want to show you how to build this house. As you can see it is a quite medieval design and I am really happy with how this one ended up. So let's quickly go inside and let me show you a little bit around. Right here we got our storage room. On this side we got two lovely paintings. Here we have our bookshelves and on this side we got a lovely replication of a fridge in the medieval times. On this side we got our bedroom and I can spot a mistake already. Here we go. And let's actually go through the materials. Now I will have the same list in the description as well so keep that in mind. And this is actually everything you need. Now you can ignore the amount of water buckets. You only need two. This is how many times I've used it. So just ignore that. But all the remaining amounts are actually exactly the same. So once you got everything you need, let's get started. The first thing what we're going to do is we're going to outline the build. So start with a strip dark oak wood and then add one spruce plank and then one more dark oak wood. After that we are going to indicate the entrance. So add one block and then skip two and then add one more on the side. Then you can just simply repeat this like that. On this side we're going to have a two white window. And on this side, we're going to have two individual windows like this. On this side, we're going to have three, two white windows and then one more one white window. On the back side, what you want to do is you want to have five, two white windows. So one, two, three, four and five. On this side, you want to have two two wide windows, just like that. After that, build up six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you can just build this up as well. And for the entrance, you just want to leave it like this. And then you want to build in the windows as well just by simply building the pillars up and then connect them like so. Once you've built up each window, what you want to do is you want to build in the entrance. So we're going to start off with two doors, then take your spruce stairs and place them in like this. And then two more on the, on the upper side. Take some iron bars and place that in these sides you just want to build up with some fences and then add a lantern after that you want to take the dark oak stairs and place it in like this then for the windows what you want to do is you want to add two glowstone on the sides then take the stairs and place them in as well take your fences place them on the sides then you can add dark oak trapdoors and open them up. And then add two spruce trapdoors like that. For the glass, I'm going to use the white stained glass pane, but you can use whatever you like to. Okay, so get each window in. And after that, we are going to decorate the pillars as well. Once you got each window in, what we're going to do is we're going to decorate the pillars. But before that, we're going to decorate these sides as well. So you want to add some stairs followed with some iron bars. Then for the pillars, what you want to do is you want to add some stairs. Then take your trap slabs and then place them in as well. And then you want to go all the way around your base. And don't forget to add some stairs underneath this as well. You can skip this side and just keep adding it like this. And you get the idea. You just want to add in your slabs and connect it all together. Then you want to take some dark oak fences, place them in. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to add some lanterns as well. So take your lanterns and place it on the sides. Like this. And don't forget to do the same thing on the sides as well. After you got that in, what you want to do is you want to take your trapdoors and place that in. What we're going to do right here is we're going to make a L shape and then add a row of inner trapdoors. Then you can take your deep slate brick stairs and add a row of that as well. Once you've got this, you can take your planks and place that in. And after that, you can just build up your roof. Now, once you have one block of space left, you just want to add some planks and cover it with some iron trapdoors. Once you are left with an area like this, place a campfire right here. Then take your trapdoors and cover this all up. Next up, we're going to make a small garden. Now, start with a pathway, which is well, going in from this, three blocks wide, one, two, three. You can just get rid of this. And then you just want to make a two wide pathway. Now make sure that you go all the way around your base. And on this side, what we're going to do is we're going to go in a little bit. And maybe three blocks from this, one, two, three. And then create a pathway surrounding your base then what you want to do is you want to surround the pathway with some mangrove leaves or any other leaf then add some walls as well followed with some trapdoors and open them up after that you can add some lanterns you don't have to add it on each wall but make sure that you divide them wisely Otherwise, it's going to, you know, it's going to be too much. So make sure that you got all of that in. Then go ahead and dig all of these blocks out. Then you want to take some dark oak wood and replace these blocks. Go ahead and replace the floor with some cobbled deep slate. Then take some water buckets and fill this all in. After that, you can place some lily pads and some sea pickles as well. Once you got that, let's move in and let's decorate the inside of this house. So st to start off, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you light up each pillar. Because we're going to add some more pillars in front of them. So on this side, add three blocks like that. Here we're going to have three more pillars. One more on this side and two more like that. And have one more right here. Before you build all of that up, what you want to do is you want to cover this all with some cobbled deep sleigh. And then take your torches and light this area up as well. For the floor, what you want to do is you want to replace this with some andesite or an ender block that you want. Once you got all of that, what you want to do is, like I said, you want to replace your floor with some polished andesite. Then take some spruce trap doors. Next up, you want to take some spruce stairs and place that in, like this. Here, you just want to add another row stairs followed with some iron bars and then right here you can just add some paintings on this side what we're going to do is we're going to use this side as a storage area so divide this in two like that and once you are at this point what you want to do is you want to stop and then take your chests First, add some stairs like this and on top as well. Then you can take your chests and place that in. Then you want to take some spruce fences and add it in like this. Add some trapdoors in and open them up. You can add a glowstone right there so that it is all lit up. And I'm going to show you 
how to do this side it's going to be pretty similar that's why i didn't show you all of that and one close turn on the sides followed with some two trap doors uh stairs and then add some trap doors in then take your barrels followed with some black concrete and some buttons as well okay start off with a row of black concrete then add your barrels on the sides on top of this you just want to have some stairs okay, then take your buttons and place them in as well on this side what we're going to do is we're going to have our bedroom right here so add two full blocks like that then add your bed take your stairs and place that in like so after that you want to take some trap doors i'm going to use the dark oak one place it in and open it up then on the sides what you want to do is you want to take your stairs place it in like this then add your iron bars followed with your lanterns take the dark oak stairs this sign and place it in like that okay on this side we're going to have another painting just like this and then you can just add your stairs going like that you just want to stop at this point okay then you can add one more pillar going up then add your stairs offenses i'm sorry then you can add your stairs going across like that and then add some lanterns on this side we're going to have some bookshelves so build two more pillars like that then add your bookshelves in going up go ahead and place some stairs going across Make sure that it's all connected then you can take your stairs again followed with some dark oak fences then you want to take your ladders and place them in going up and that is going to be a small decoration on this side we're going to have some windows uh, i mean some paintings again The last thing what we're going to do is we're going to build in a cooking area and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these sides and that it's and that and that is going to be it actually. Now hopefully you all enjoyed this one and if you did please leave a like and subscribe. Have a nice day. See you the next time.